Be sure to go to FlipSideGaming.com and use promo code 6 for 10% off on orders over $10. You can do the same at the Grizzly Gentleman for uh, some fantastic beard products that'll make your beard look and smell great. You can also go to TCG Player using the affiliate link below and shop there to help support the show. And last but absolutely not least, go to GreyVikingGames.com with the link below to get those sweet arena codes. What is up, Planeswalkers? Theric 6 back with some more Magic the Gathering Arena. Today, we're playing some good old-fashioned Dragons Standard 2022. Now, typically, uh, this is a, a historic channel where I uh, primarily play historic decks, but uh, the fact that Wizards has given us this uh, this pre-rotation is pretty sick. So, uh, you know, I'm still going to be playing historic, but I'm going to be wiggling more of these decks in, especially when they come from viewers. Uh who have full decks that they think are really awesome in this format. This doesn't come from just a viewer. This comes from, uh, I think, longest uh, channel moderator. Uh, she's great. This is uh, Annabelle's deck. Now, the standard 2020, uh, 2022 event, I don't know if I said that right there the first time, um, is only best of one. She did put together a, a sideboard here. Uh, so if you are interested in that... Uh, and kind of like tweaking it a little bit for actual standard, uh, then you can go from here. But I'm not going to talk about the sideboard because I'm not going to be using it in this video. But let's hop into the actual cards. Paladin class. Very awesome. Uh, the fact that it annoys your opponents is pretty good for one single mana. Uh, there are some other cards that you could potentially use here, uh, but frankly, I think this is uh, nice and fine. Especially because you get um, kind of this delayed buff. Like, if you just don't have mana for anything, uh, you know, or you don't have cards to use your mana. You all know what I'm saying. You get to just have your creatures be larger, which is always nice to have. Uh, these things do stack, so you can theoretically uh, play multiple Paladin Clashes, level them up, uh, both to level 2, and your creatures will get plus 2, plus 2 total. And that's pretty nice. Um, obviously, the last one is pretty cool, especially when you pair it with <sighs> the Adult Gold Dragon. A card I was apparently very wrong about. Um, I, I did play some of this deck on stream, and uh, yeah... It's still good. The fact that it has lifelink is actually just real, real strong. This still should have had four toughness, but the card is the card is actually decent. So you know, I had to eat my words there. Three dragons disciple. Now, um, uh, Annabelle's deck had dancing sword or whatever like that, um, but I I took that out. Uh, she she did say she considered uh, swapping them for dragons disciple. So I figured I'm just gonna cut out the middleman. I I apologize. I sneezed. Um, and try out the Disciple. Obviously, uh, this card is should always come down as a 2-mana two 2-4, two which should be relatively strong. Um, and just being able to block a lot of 2-mana uh, two, two and maybe even 3-mana plays. Uh, the fact that it also gives ward to our many dragons is also quite nice, so just it's more annoying for your opponent to deal with. 4 Dragonkin Berserker. Can make dragons, but also 2-mana two 2-2 two, two first strike. It's not bad. It's not bad. Two, uh, excuse me, four Dragon's Fire. Uh, this this card should just say, like, two mana deal, like, minimum four damage. Uh, sometimes, sometimes this is the only card that you'll be able to utilize, but, like, uh, you're going to be dealing four damage most of the time with this. Uh, so, for an instant, that can hit Planeswalkers. That's pretty good. Two Shatter, Girl Smash, Shatter Skull Smashing. Uh, this can be a land, as we are only running 23, uh, despite the fact that we have multiple 5-plus drops. But also, it can get rid of annoying things that are in our way. They're annoying us. Four Elite Spellbinder. This card is just good. It forces, uh, it gives you information on what your opponent has. And it makes it so that their uh, most annoying card is delayed. Considering uh, we also have Paladin class, there's a little bit of uh, annoyance going on. Free Nadar. Uh, it's a dragon, and it does extra stuff, which is pretty cool. Uh, typically, you're, you know, you're going to get... In the, in the average best of one game, you're probably going to get one, maybe two. Um, but if you're just if you're just like looking at um, the things that you can get, um, you know that's that's all still fine. Three icing death, you know, four mana, four three. Uh, when it dies, you make a sword. Uh, what's kind of nice about this? I'm pretty sure it dies. I'm pretty sure if you cast a second one, you can. You can make the other. You can make the token. Pretty sure. Regardless, like a four mana, a four mana uh, flying creature with vigilance is essentially just always nice to have, especially when you consider the fact that like you don't mind too much if this dies because then you can make one of your other dragons better, especially if it's <sighs> adult gold dragon. Because Lightlink is sick. 
Three showdown, the Scalds. This can help you kind of uh, uh, get your, your card advantage going since we are playing red-white. Two Goldspan Dragons. This allows you to ramp. Uh, it, for what it's worth, this actually allows you to do stupid things. Um, the, the biggest one being uh, on turn five, you can cast this and attack with it and still hold up Dragon's Fire, which is very important, can come in handy a lot. Four Dalko Dragons. It has, it has lifelink, man. Uh, two Inferno of the Star Mounts. This card is uh, also very good. Just because, like, it has haste and can't be countered, you're never going to get that uh, fire breathing ability to actually go off. But this card is just, like, haste can't be countered. Die. Like, it's it's fantastic. We have uh, three uh, Cave of the Frost, dra Frost Dragons, another nice extra thing if we, you know, have too much uh, mana and not enough cards uh, in TTUs, frankly. Uh, then we can get uh, some nice value out of that. Otherwise, this is the mana base. Let's hop into this strange, strange event. Standard 2022. Uh, Lich Life is not good. It is bad. Go away. Um, so yeah, I'm probably, uh, for historic decks, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and find some ones that I haven't played on the channel in quite a while. Quite a while. Like uh, Chromatic Black. Um, and others. Sapperlings, even. Um, and kind of give them just, you know, a facelift. See what these newer cards can do for these strategies that uh, have you know, kind of fallen by the channel's wayside as we focus a little bit more on, uh, you know, uh, having specific days. Up against... I'm going to say uh, Snife Magic, because I I don't like the, the alternative. Uh, we, have a, we have a turn two and a turn three. The biggest issue here, obviously, is the fact that we have a lot of lands in our hand and no double white. Which could be an issue. Alright. That was a bad draw. Gotta turn this down in my ears. It's way too loud. Opponent on an aggro deck of some sort. A goblin aggro deck? Mayhaps? Do this. Show them that. I have a 2-4 now. 2-4 okay, is just an annoying card to deal with. They could Frostbite. They can still Frostbite. That really makes me feel like they have Frostbite. But I block, my Disciple gets pinged for one, uh, and then it dies. So I think for right now, I'm going to say no blocks. The nice thing here, obviously, is the fact that we do have Scalds. So we can't... What are you doing? Frostbite only deals two damage, right? Okay. Interesting. Um, so I could Spellbinder. This is First Strike. This this deck plays like mostly cheap stuff, so I think I'd rather just Nadir here. And we're probably gonna Fandelver. Yeah, I think Fandelver is better. We get to scry. Um, Nadir is probably going to die next turn, so I'm actually fine. <laughs> fine with that. Not going to attack. Going to kind of keep it rolling. And see how things go. Yeah, it has ward. It's not just spells, it's also abilities. Sure. Man, if only I had another card. Ha <laughs> ha. Could make a Gabo. Could make a treasure token and play this. I think I'm gonna make a treasure token. And play this. 
I'm gonna pass. I mean, our top end should be better than theirs. So we kind of just have to, you know, get to our top end. <laughs> Oh no, opponent, what are you doing? Disgusting. Different basic land art? Gross. Sure. If they wanna if they wanna um use a removal spell on my creatures, that's fine, I think. Gotcha. Well, Spellbinder is not great. Let's play Showdown. Look, a dragon. Don't want to attack here. They probably trade off, but I think I'm fine with that. Next turn, I'm playing Goldspan Dragon. Dragons? Honestly? Let's do it. Oh. I am surprised by that decision. That is rude. It's a phoenix. Mm. Alright. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's attack. And we'll... Do this. I guess I'll do that. I hate... So, okay, people in Standard... People in Standard, I've noticed, are so much worse with BM emoting. So much worse. They're awful. Alright, 4, 8, 9. Oh, look, another Dragon's Fire. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh. Um, let's see. One, two, three. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna put this on. This, I guess. We'll see what my opponent does here. This one, right? Yeah. We did it. We could have uh, played Paladin class and leveled up once. Just if we wanted to. I don't think you trust in my. Self-righteous suicide I cry when angels deserve to die I didn't listen to I haven't listened to any sewed lately. 
I've been meaning to put it on my phone. But I'm a dum dum. Do this and play paladin class. So we play a mountain. I guess I could have played this first. Play a mountain and play a dragon king berserker. And then the following turn, I probably just level up this paladin class, and then on turn four, I play this and level it up. That's the plan, Stan. I think we have a slightly different plan. So we're going to play this because it comes in tapped. We're going to play this. Rude! Rude, super duper rude. I can't believe you've done this. You're going to get screwed when I cast my other things. Oh, you fool. You poor, unfortunate soul. Play another one. Yeah, you're just not allowed to do things on my turn, friend. The next one I'll play this. I'll do that. You're just not allowed to cast things on my turn. Go away. That's what, five minutes you use? Jeez. Well, once again... We got something different to do. Cast the Spellbinder. We currently have a way to kill that, so I think, uh... I think the plan is to just smork as fast as I can? Five minutes of use, so next time I can play this, activate this. Alternatively, I could activate this, which would give me a 5-5. Five, five. You might as well do both. Yep, there you go. Uh, instead, I'm going to... Okay, five. So this costs six mana on their turn. So I still have a couple of turns. So I think I'm going to play this. I'm going to Smork. And they're dead on board. Because I can activate one of these and kill them. Fudge. If I activate this, these all get buffed. They can't let these two through. This will be five, this will be three. So I can theoretically put them to one, but that's not good enough. I wish this was a land, which is hilarious to say. I could block this and trade, and then next turn... Next turn, they can start taking extra turns, which is not great. Yeah, that one made the most sense. But yeah, I really wish I had one more land. Well, I have them at one. <clears throat> now we just sit back and uh, watch while our opponent takes several turns. They don't have a land? And they're looking for one? Nah, they had a land. They had a land that entire time. Okay, I'm going to take an extra turn. Yup. Do that, they're going to attack. And draw a card, they're going to take another turn. So this emote is definitely my favorite. Uh, whenever you uh, just are gonna lose, and you don't want to give your opponent the satisfaction? Oh, leave.
Is it my turn yet? That's just rude. I say you again, that's just rude. Again, rude. I wonder what that is. Oh. No, they can ca Oh, wait. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. I need this to not be the counter spell. I need this so bad to not be the counter spell. Come on. Oh my gosh. Get effed. Get absolutely effed. I am so glad you died. Fucking hell yeah. I'm a number one. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you play the three mana three three, because it is just good enough on its own. But but Justin, Mono White doesn't have reach. I do now. Am I too excited? Maybe. It's the blood of my enemies. Going up against a lazy wizard with an Ugin avatar. A dragon pet. All right, another control deck. This hand is so very slow. I hate my life. Essentially, mulligan to a worse deck. Okay, um, or worse hand, I should say. Uh, we're boned. I think it's the angel deck, right? Okay, I don't actually know yet. a lot of damage. Is... Is this... Is this what I think it is? Is this standard death and taxes? Hmm. I don't know. This might be flyers. I mean, I'm obviously blocking that. I want to take four damage. This turn, I'm gonna cast icing death. That's a cool animation. Fudge. I'm gonna take six. Here we go. Choose a dragon I control. Boop. Boop. Bye. Have a beautiful time. Do this. We're going to play this tapped so that we can cast the dragon next turn and start getting some life back. All right. All right. We, we, may, we may turn the corner. I'm still afraid of this card coming out. I think they're I think this is supposed to be kind of Death and Taxes esque. So no matter what happens in this game, Lazy Wizard, I commend you. For being pretty sick. And some more. Oh how the turns have tabled, Lazy Wizard. Oh how the turns have tabled. So this can go up to four, five, double. Oh god. This gives plus two. But there's only eight. Why do I think? It oh, for each other attacking creature, that's why. Okay. No blocks. I'm good. I did it. I don't remember what our first game was. Hey, we got a Morgan King. I, I legitimately do not recall what our first game was. Uh, regardless, 
I'm just going to show you uh, my sealed deck. This is this is what I opened. Feel free to pause the video to see what I actually opened. Uh, and then this is the actual deck. As you can see, I'm 3-0 right now. Yeah, Annabelle made a good deck. I mean, Annabelle makes good decks. Uh, but yeah, Annabelle made a good deck. Uh, I, I definitely like this. I'm not sure there's anything I would really change. Maybe the deck can afford another land, but at the same time, maybe not. It's cool. It's cool stuff. It's good stuff. Um, yeah, it's pretty sweet. Have a PO box for you to send me nonsense. Uh, I will open it on camera and or uh, put it on uh, my background. Thank you uh, once again for, for my lovely patrons and their continued financial support. Uh, without them, the show uh, would not exist, frankly. Um, if you'd like to join them and support the show, you'll find links in the description down below. Uh, you could also uh, subscribe on Twitch using your uh, Twitch Prime. Uh, you can become a channel member. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's only ways you can financial, financial... Oh, right, you can also just use any of my codes at the beginning. Like, those codes do help me. Like, a decent amount, actually. Uh, if you cannot afford to currently financially support... Like, comment, subscribe on this video, and I will continue to play fun decks and uh, do stupid voices while singing, um, prog rock. <laughs> <laughs> I, we have fun here. Until next time, I'll be one.